<laughs> and all I'm saying is that I'm not buying the new Angry Birds Transformers game. Nope. The last Angry Birds game I think I got was Angry Birds Trilogy. And that was like Christmas of 2011, 2012? I don't know. And the last PS3 game I remember getting was Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. A great game. And I can't record footage of my PS3, so, you know, I couldn't do that until I die. But if I do get the chance to record it from a PS3, hopefully I will, then I might make some until I die responses on PS3 games that Tilgate Mars just played, such as Lego Harry Potter and Beans and Time. And some, and I mentioned the three reasons why I haven't played any in a long time, and sometimes it's because of two reasons. So, yeah. It can't be all three because two of them are extremely similar. One, I've, a game I've never owned, a game I used to own but no longer do, or a game on a system that I can't record on. Or it could be a game I can't record a system on and a game I don't own. <laughs> As in, I used to own it, but I don't anymore, or I never owned it. So, yeah. Record Lab! Yay! And it's still in English! <laughs> and I never actually noticed it. Man, this game's fun. Zuba. And the music is pretty good in the game, even though who, 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 depending on who you play as, the song is practically only is the same in every track. I mean, it's not a terrible thing. The songs are actually quite cute and good, but it would have been nice to have a little bit of variety. Seriously, this gibberish or Raymond needs is just weird, but it's cute at the same time. That's one thing I like about this game, it's cute. Final lap! Ultima Vuelta! I guess. But man, this game is fun. <laughs> I wonder if Tilgate Mask gets any further than part two. And depending on how long part two is, or part three, I might, or depending on how many parts I do, I think I might beat him. Though I shouldn't be overconfident, but I think I'll win, honestly. But then again, I could be wrong. I haven't seen what Tilgame Game Master does yet. <laughs> or how well he does. He was just beeping around in the last few minutes, so I don't think he does that much. But yeah, I did it. Woohoo! Man, this game's fun. I just hope that Tilgame Game Master plays one of the other random PS2 games I own. Here's one. No one find cute, or just interesting, when a word is extremely similar than it is to English and it's the same word in French and German, as in the word is practically the same in those two languages and it's, and the word in those two languages is extremely similar to what it is in English. For example, banana. In English, it's obviously banana. Japanese is banana. In Italian, it's banana. And possibly some other languages, but I don't know. I know it's not in Spanish, but whatever. <laughs> and in French and German, it's known as. And in French, it's known as banan. Or banan. B A N A N E. Which is actually the plural word for banana in Italian. And it's the same word in 
German, but I'm guessing it's pronounced BANANA! No offence to German people. And if I did offend you, I'm so sorry. Two Game Master did a, did a cruel German joke in his Tokobot video. So... Yeah. Why can't I? Oh yeah, because I'm a bit more family friendly. But whatever. Well, I do heavily apologise if that offended you. And another one is fairy, and this is the only other one I can think of. In, in English, it's obviously fairy. In French, it's fee. In German, it's fee. The end. <laughs> I've got one of it was in Spanish, but it's definitely not along the lines of fee. I don't even know what it is in Italian at all. I don't even have a rough idea. <laughs> They're still beeping here? How badly have these bozos been doing? I want to see where second place is. Is second place still on the first lap as well? Man, the AI can be stupid sometimes. <laughs> it's actually quite entertaining. Oh man, I like this game so much, it's cute. <laughs> if you would ask me what my favourite main man game was the full time, I think it might be either Rayman 3 or Rayman Legends. I haven't played Rayman Legends since I reviewed it. Well, that might... Um, I think I might play the Vita version sometime after that. And I don't own the Vita version anymore because it kind of sucks, in my opinion. Well, I do want the Japanese Vita version. Well, I'd much rather have the Japanese Wii U version, but since the Wii U is in Wii U 3, then I'll have to stick with the Vita version. Ah, uh, look at Glowbox. So depressed. It's only a stupid race, Glowbox. You don't have to get all em emotional about it. And I actually haven't been unlocking any of the costumes or characters. That's weird. But now it's time to go on to the final world. That'll be interesting. I haven't actually played anything in the final world in quite a while. I want to go to the gem temple. Wait, are there two words for gems in Spanish? Oh wait. Um. Hopefully I won't die here. I better not die. If I do, then I'll be sad. I bet. Oh my beeping god, there's four of them! That was a bit mean. That wasn't. That was actually quite sweet. Down I go. Wee. Oh, come on, Rayman. Did you have to land on that? Yes, you did. That's cruel. Oh, come on. Where is this beeping thing? It's right next to me. Almost. Oh, it's behind that pillar. Oh, this one's paying enough to... I'm too young to glitch to die. By the way, that was the line that Grand Santa said in After Christmas. <laughs> it's quite a cute line, isn't it? Grand Santa's supposed to be 136. Here's a very ironic about our Christmas. Now, Grand Santa is like... I know. He's like, wait, he's 136. And the current Santa, as of our Christmas, has been Santa for 17 years. So basically... 
when Grand Santa stopped being Santa, he was younger than the amount of years that current Santa has been, has been Santa for. Plus, he mentioned that on his, the last night of his flight, which I guess was in 1940. Santa said that, Steve said that he should have stopped, you know, going in his finger. In case you don't know who Steve is, it's like, Santa's son who's not Arthur. And the the that just makes it weird. Steve looks like a guy who's like in his thirties, I guess. But if he's been like, but it's his, but it's his, but that line alone suggests that he's way older than we think. And that is actually quite weird. That Steve is like in his 70s, even though he doesn't look that old. Surely he has a great Christmas beard and all, but that doesn't make a difference. Well, I thought I did when I was younger, but oh well. Oh, come on, it's up there! No, it's round there, silly me. Must get it! Yes! But seriously, Half of Christmas is an interesting Christmas film. But I like, but I wonder if it took inspiration from Peppa Pig. In case, like, are you insane? Oh, they are gonna explain this. In Peppa Pig, I think in like the season three Christmas special, I'm guessing this. It was like a two-parter. Pepper asked for a doll, a very specific doll, and Susie asked for the same one. And Pepper didn't get her doll, and Susie did, and Susie wanted the same doll. And then Pepper thought it was hers, and then, you know, it wasn't hers. And then, Peb was like, Santa has forgotten me. And that's basically, and I wonder if Gwen would have had the same reaction if that happened to her in After Christmas. You know, the little girl who wrote the most bizarre Christmas letter I ever seen. And I don't even know how old she is, but, or how old she was in the movie, but she didn't seem that old. She seemed quite small, like, seven or something like that but her parents were letting her walk to the post box all on her beeping own and she must have terrible parents the end and she wrote she literally wrote this well I don't remember exactly what she wrote she's like she says like how comes I can't find your google earth my friend doesn't believe in you. Sad doesn't care what your friend thinks. Your friend isn't getting any for Christmas, obviously. So, don't get excited, Gwen's friend from after Christmas who we never see. Yeah, I'm just talking about random stuff and after Christmas. Merry Christmas! In four months. Dum dum. Well, I'll tell you, it's like three months and three weeks, but oh well. And I don't know if I explained this in the video before, but the only reason why we celebrate birthdays is so that we don't notice the negative part about birthdays. <laughs> if you think about it, on a birthday, it basically tells you that you're one year closer to dying. <laughs> Don't believe me? It literally does. Birthdays are just there to tell you that you're a year closer to your death. Because literally, if you if you didn't, because when you die, you die at a certain age, and you can only blame your birthday for getting, making you get closer to that day where you die. They say that about every day, but birthdays are like a whole year. That's pretty interesting. 
And the only reason why we celebrate them is so that we don't see the negative car about birthdays. And we never, and most of us never notice the negative car about birthdays because we celebrate them. That's why birthdays are seen as positive events, even though they're negative events. Celebrate positively so that we don't worry about them. I think that even the even parents don't know this. Because they would never because they never thought about it this hard. I think I'm one of the only people who's actually thought this hard about how a birthday works. I could always be wrong and I have a feeling I'm gonna lose, but oh well. This was fun anyway. I haven't actually played this last world in quite a while. Just can't expect me to be that good. Nah, I'm not going out there. Why are you going the risk way when you can just go the safe way? But seriously, this is like a Donkey Kong homage. B! I'm so close to my death! I'm so close to losing, I'm probably gonna lose! No! I've lost, I think! Yes, I have lost! No! I've been lost. lost. Beep. But that was fun. Now, like I promised, I'm going to show you all the rest. But seriously, I got quite far. I'm glad I made it that far. Even if I lost. <laughs> I'm going to show you the other modes. I mean, there's Lung, Fight, and Capture the Fly. <laughs> I think they're self-explanatory. So, don't really worry about them. I want to show you Pop and Loopy in the first level, but still. Now, in order to win this, I think you need to kill a certain amount of these and then win. I always try and kill a certain amount and when I don't, I think I lose. But I'm going to show you this. I mean, the battle modes are like self-explanatory. Wait, do you need to get these guys? I have a feeling you do, but you might not have to. Well, you do if you want more time, but are they 100? But you need to collect a certain amount. I know there's more than what the game shows you. Or is that for the lungs? B. I still can't believe I'm probably the only person who thought that hard about birthdays. You know what would be hilarious? If there was a guy living on this planet right now, and his name was Jesus Christ, and if he was born on Christmas Day, that would just be funny, in my opinion. I don't know if there's anyone on this planet with the surname of Christ. Deal, but I'm interested. <laughs> It'll be interesting if that was true. Do you think it's true? Then tell me in the comments. Wait, those guys were in Rayman Man 3. Was this game their origin or were they in Rayman Man 2? I've never really played far enough in Rayman Man 2 to know. I've never actually beaten. This section of Rayman 1 and Rayman Legends, I've never beaten a Rayman game. 
Honestly, I haven't. One. Oh, you don't need to kill all of them. That's nice. You just need to get to the end in time. The lumps you need to collect them a certain amount and then get to the end in time. I'll just show you the lumps. Then I might show you the battle modes, even if they are you know, self-explanatory. Raise a beard, lying down. How cute. But you've got an opponent in this mode. I actually forgot about that. I don't know how long ago it was since I last played this game. I don't think it was that long ago. Maybe it was. I just don't know. I think I've played this game this year. Did he say, oh, sugar? That was weird. But man, this game's cute. And I mean cute in the cute way. What way was I, what other way was I thinking of? As in, in, it's interesting. It's interesting. But no, this is, this game is literally cute. It's cute to look at, it's cute to listen to, it's cute to play. I mean, not cute to play, but it's cute to listen to. This may not look hard, but that's because I'm playing first level and it's easy in the first level the beep goes down when you get in the later levels though it gets hard really hard you've got to beat your opponent as well so keep that in mind Wait, do you need to collect a certain amount? Or not? I think you do. You better not fall off, Tinsies. Tinsy Wincies. But I won. Yay! Did it! Yay! But it's easy in the beginning. It gets hard later on. Seriously, this game gets so tough later on. It's a short game, but it's fun. Now that I think about it, I might actually... I don't know which save it's on, though. I'll just do everything manually again. I don't mind. Come on. I think it's this one. Yeah, I definitely think it's this one. Lum fight is a fight between you and the lums. It's a pretty epic battle. I wouldn't say epic, but it's interesting, to say the least. This is what it looks like. I just wanted to show you these things. It gets really hectic when there's four people. Wait, can you target these? You've got to kill your opponent before they kill you. Just got to get close enough. It's a pretty interesting mode. If only if Sonic R was this polished. Warning, you can kill yourself with your own weapons and you lose points if you do.
platform is kind of like the, you know, oh, come on, the thundercloud. No, 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 not the, kind. It's not fully like it, but it's kind of similar. This, that is a good hiding place. For when you're doing capture the fly. I just wasted ammo. Rayman, I've got your weapon as well. Thank you very much. Climbing in the tunnel. Oh my beeping god, your characters I skate all over the place. Rayman! Don't be a wimp and come down to Tinsy! <laughs> ha! I killed him with my own weapon! Purple! I'll get you, Rayman! And when you die, you lose your power up. That sucks. The gold ones give you the more rare light items more in a more... Well, they don't guarantee it, but it's more likely when you pick up the yellow ones. Rayman, did you have to win? I honestly can't tell which ones are real now. <laughs> I've got the homing missile. That fire. Man, that fire. It's so risky that it's not even funny. Those lasers are awesome though. Those lasers are awesome. Beef, I didn't make it. Yeah, I won. And I just need to show you capture the fly. And I picked this level for a reason. The hiding spot. Seriously, the AI almost never goes up there. They didn't even bother translating the names. This is basically capture the flag. So, yeah. Just gotta keep it for long enough. You've gotta hide. Wait, where the. Where the. He's got it! The collision detection in this game is wonky when it comes to climbing up things. Beep! I need to get him! No! I think I could lose this, but hopefully you get the idea. The controls are kind of wonky in this game. I mean, they're very slippery. And the camera is not good either. And the jumping feels delayed. But that's 
but it just feels like that. But overall, this game's still fun. I think I'll review it sometime in the future. So, that was everything that the game has to offer. Now, I just want to check when the last time I played this game was. And I don't think I removed the game memory card at all the last time I played it. So, I'm just gonna reset my console, open up the lid, and I'm gonna see how long it's been since I last played this game. You, I think when I was younger, I used to think that the browse, that browser said Bowser. That was cute. Is that Rayman? Oh, that's Rayman M. No, that's Rayman 3, silly me. Rayman M. So the last time I played this game was on the 30th of September 2013. According to this memory card, I might have played it after that on something else, but that, according to memory card, that was the last time I played this game. Wow, it's been exactly 11 months since then. And my memory card is just flooded with free Rayman Revolution saves, which was in my failed sick let's play. So I'm just going to delete them. Excuse me. But that was Rayman M. That was pretty fun. I don't know if Jill Game Master will make it as far as me, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this response series, guys. I hope you liked it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Considering that it's been forever since I made the last one. Anyway, this is Big Bang Box signing out.